In this video, I'm gonna take a deeper dive into the Edmonton real estate market. I will specifically be looking at downtown and Oliver. So if you're a downtown dweller or you wanna be one, this video is for you. In this residential real estate market update, I'm gonna combine two communities downtown Edmonton and Oliver. It is based on a snapshot of the MLS data from March 21st to April 21st. And I'll be comparing this same time frame for the last five years, so from 2015 to 2020. As you know, downtown Edmonton and Oliver are essentially the heart of the condo community in Edmonton. So this is basically a condo market update, but just for these communities. And each of these communities contains both high-rise and low-rise condos. And I have split the data for each of these categories. And the data that we'll be looking at for these categories include sales data, median sold prices, the sale to list ratios, and the median days on market. And just a quick note, this is resale data that is available on the MLS. Some new build condos in downtown may not have gone on the MLS, so that data is not included here. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Well, we found ourselves in another recession due to COVID-19 and the fall of the oil and gas prices. I've had many people reach out to me looking for deals during this downturn. But so far, there really hasn't been a lot of deals. Things are priced quite well and pretty low, as the prices have already been coming down for the last number of years. So if we're gonna see any more deals better than what we're already seeing, uh, might not only depend on supply and demand, it could also depend on the equity that people have in their home. Many people just don't have equity to drop the price further. Okay, so getting right into it. First up is high rises in downtown at Oliver. As you can see in this chart for sales, the number of sales for high rises in downtown has been basically dropping since 2017, with a huge drop between last year and this year, with only nine sales between March 21st and April 21st, 2020, compared to that same time frame in 2019 where there was 27 sales. But has a drop in sales mean a drop in median sold prices? Not necessarily. We really have only seen a slight drop since the big decline that happened between 2017 and 2018. Since last year, the median sold price has only dropped $4,500 from $272,000 to $267,500 in 2020. Well, people might have been a little bit hopeful this year and pricing their places a little bit higher as the sold to list ratio is also down. High rise condos? are selling for 95% of list price in 2020. And surprisingly, high-rise condos are selling a little bit quicker. They're selling quicker than 2017 and 2019 numbers, with the median days on market dropping from 48 in 2019 to 40 days on market in 2020. Okay, so now let's look at the low-rise condo market in downtown and Oliver. As I'm sure you're probably aware, sales for low-rise condos have been dropping since 2017, with a small uptick, surprisingly, in 2019. Low-rise condos are down from 14 sales in 2019 to four sales in 2020 from March 21st to April 21st of both of those years. And even with the drop in sales, the median sold price has stayed fairly flat between 2019 and 2020. There was a pretty big drop in 2018 to 2019, about 90,000. So the median sold price in 2019 was 182,000, and that's up slightly in 2020 to $182,500. The sold to list ratio has fluctuated a lot over the last five years. From March 21st to April 21st, 2020, we've seen condos sell for 93% of list price. And if you're going to be selling, you're going to be looking at waiting a long time. If the past is any prediction of the future, low rise condos are selling very slow with the median days on market increasing from 47 days on market in 2019, all the way up to 75 days on market. So I wanted to also take a quick look at homes being taken off the market compared to homes 
being sold in downtown and all over. As you may have heard, uh, inventory has been coming off the market, not necessarily due to sales, but because people are withdrawing their listings. In downtown Oliver, a significant amount has been taken off the market in the one month period. Last month, 30 units were taken off the market, giving buyers less options. So even though demand is lower, supply is also lower. So that may be why we haven't been seeing too much of a change in median sold prices yet. Well, if you found this information to be interesting or helpful, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for other market updates and my other weekly videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.